In this video, I'm going to talk about different type of VPNs, for example, overlay VPN and also peer to peer VPN. But let me to start with definition of the VPN. VPN is the abbreviation of the virtual private okay, network. Let me to give you one definition for, uh, for the VPN. What is a VPN? A VPN is a network that emulates a private network over a common infrastructure. For example, when we have one uh, site, one router in, uh, that connect to the internet, okay, and also another router connected to the internet in other sites, R1 and R2, and we are configuring a tunnel between them, for example, a GRAE tunnel, one of the simplest form of the tunnel, okay? You know that we are emulating a direct link between the R1 and R2. This means that logically R1 connected to the, uh, for example, R2 with this GRE tunnel or with, uh, for example, IPsec tunnel, okay? But here, physically, maybe we have different rotors or some rotors, R3, R4, R5, or R6. This is the physical status of the, the rotors between the R1 and R2. But logically, R1 now connected to the R2. This is a tunnel or this is a, vir a VPN, virtual private network. You know that when we call the, we, uh, we are using the term of VPN, maybe we have two type of VPNs. Let me talk about this. We have two type of VPN, okay? The first time is the, the first type is the security VPNs, and the second type, the VPNs that we are using them for separation, and in most cases we are using these VPNs in the service providers. First, let me to talk about the VPN we are using. These VPN types uh, about the for security features. Assume that as the, uh, for example, uh, I used the example in the previous uh, part, assume that R1 connected to the R2 over the internet. And then we are configuring the uh, security VPN between R1 and R2 with one method, for example, IPsec, okay, IPsec or IP security. When you are configuring IPsec tunnel between the R1 and R2, you are using many type of, uh, for example, security features, for example, authentication for example, uh, privacy or encryption. After that, in, uh, integrity check or some other features, okay? This is the first type of the VPNs, security VPNs, okay? But we have another type of VPNs, we call them separation VPNs. What is the separation VPN? Let me talk about this. Assume that we have a service provider. This service provider has two customer, customer A and also customer B. Okay, we have two customers, customer A and customer B. These two customers now are, uh, for example, connected to the service provider. This is the service provider router. Okay, I call it PE. PE is the provider edge. And then here is the provider uh, infrastructure, provider, and then uh, another PE. PE means provider edge. P means provider router or core router. And then another P. And after that, again, we have another site, uh, site of customer A, for example, site two, okay? And also another site of uh, customer B, okay? Here, we have two customers and these customers need to uh, service provider, give them reachability service, connectivity service between different sites. For example, this is customer A, A uh, site one, let me to write here, customer A site one, and this is the customer A site two. These customers needs to give the reachability service from the service provider. This means that we expect that service provider connect this uh, customer A site one and, and customer A site two, okay? And also customer site B site, customer B site one and customer B site two need to uh, give the reachability service, connectivity service from the service provider. Here, we are using a provider, provider or a, a telecommunication company because it has a different type of links in the uh, for a many uh, geo, uh, graphi geographical location. Because of that, we are using a service provider for connecting our sites. And here, the service provider should separate 
the links, the VPNs between their customers. This means that when a service provider emulate a link between the customer A site one and customer A site two, and also customer B site one, customer B site two, it needs to separate these two VPNs. Look at here. This is the customer A site one, and this now we have one VPN between the customer A site one and customer A site two. And also about the customer B, we have customer B site one uh, connected to the customer B site two. This is the logical view, but you know that this connectivity uh, can uh, configuring, can establishing uh, with one core, with one infrastructure. This means that all of the traffic should pass from this infrastructure, okay? Here we have two virtual private networks and you know that we need to separate these two VPNs. This is another type of VPNs. The separation VPNs are VPNs that we use them for connectivity between different sites of a customer and uh, we need to separate the uh, traffic of our customer from another, uh, for example, customers, another company, okay? The private network requires all customer sites to be able to interconnect and also be completely separate from other VPNs. The VPN usually belongs to one company and has several sites interconnected across the common service provider infrastructure. In this course, in most cases, we are, con we are talking and we are configuring the separation VPNs. If you want to learn about the security VPNs, for example, IPsec tunnels or some other type of security tunnels, you need to study, you need to watch the video of uh, the uh, security VPNs or CCMP security courses and other which on other courses about the VPNs, security VPNs. In this course, we are uh, talking about the separation VPN. This is the first thing that uh, I'm, I need to uh, talk about that. After that, now about the separation VPNs, we have two types of VPNs. The first is overlay VPN, okay? And the second is the peer-to-peer -peer VPN, okay? As I mentioned before, we have two uh, type of VPN, security VPN, separation VPN, and separation VPNs now are divided to the overlay VPNs and peer-to-peer -peer VPNs. Service providers can deploy two major VPN models, okay, to provide VPN service to their customer. The first is overlay VPN model, maybe you see in, uh, for example, some books, overlay VPN model and also peer-to-peer -peer VPN model. Now I can start to talking about the overlay VPN model. I'm going to talk about overlay VPN model first, and after that we can talk about the peer-to-peer -peer VPN model. Let me to talk about the overlay VPN model. What is the overlay VPN model, okay? In the overlay model, the service provider supplies a service of point-to-point -point links or virtual circuits across his network between the routers of the customer. Let me talk about this. Look at here. Assume that here is the uh, CE router. CE means customer H, okay? CE routers inside one of a customer connected to PE1, the uh, provider edge router, and this is connected to one uh, provider router, the core router, and this is connected to another PE, provider edge router, PE2, and also this PE2 connected to CE2, means the site two of customer, uh, for example, this customer. When you are talking about the overlay VPN, okay, after configuring the VPN, you have a direct link, direct view between the CE1 and CE2. For example, you can configure a routing protocol between these two routers. C1 is a router, C2 is a router. We can configure a, a routing protocol between the CE1 and C2. This is the overlay VPN, okay? Let me to review the overlay VPN. In the overlay VPN model, the service provider, this is the service provider, supply a service of point-to-point -point links okay or virtual circuit this means that the ser the service vpn can 
a physical can be a physical link or a virtual circuit. I assume that I will talk about this, but uh, for now, let me to say that overlay VPN can be a layer one, layer two, or layer three overlay VPN model. I will talk about that, but for now, it's good to say that in overlay VPN model, CE1 connected to CE2 uh, with 